Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about how to convert any file in Windows 11 24H2. And in this video, we're going to talk about a software that has a lot of useful tools implemented and that it can use to either compress or convert or use certain AI features. In this video, I'm going to show you the software Wondershare Uni Converter. When you first open up the software, it looks something like this. Most likely, it will come by default with the light theme, but you can go into this section and go to themes and select the dark or light theme. I'm personally a fan of the dark theme and as you can see the interface is pretty simple you have a few sections up here the ones that we're mainly interested in are the converter and the compressor one and down below we also have some other tools for example editor screen recorder merger and more we're not going to talk about those in this video and we also have the ai lab if we click on more tools you're going to see here the ai lab basically these are all the ai tools that the software uses i'm just going to mention a few of them for example ai video enhancer ai image enhancer ai script generator text to speech ai thumbnail maker and more and i think there are a few interesting and useful features that you can use here but of course we're not going to focus especially on tools like this because we want to first of all convert some files in this software and see how easy it is to use so for this we're going to go into the converter section and here as you can see this is the interface it's really really simple the main thing here is that you have to add some files you need to select the output format but let's first of all select a file i have here a video file that i'm going to add and i can also add another file for example an audio file which i have prepared here now what's interesting is that that we can add files of different formats here with no issues and you can select the output format for all the files this will be useful if you have files of the same format but if you have files with different formats you will need to change the format from here in the right side of each file you have this button where you can select the format that you want for example related to the video we're going to select a video format and related to the audio we're going to select an audio format and i think that is pretty useful of course you have to select the file location so i'm going to change my location to the desktop select folder and you can also merge all files of course this is yet again a feature that can be useful in case you have files of the same formats in my case i have a video and also an audio so now let's just change the formats for example related to the video file let's convert it to mov and set it same as source and for the m4a file i'm just gonna go to wav and select the lossless quality you also have some options related to subtitles and also advanced audio track you can select keep all audio tracks or no audio tracks and so on and this goes again for the audio file you also have some additional settings which you can select for example you can save a preset if you have multiple files that you want to convert you can just name your preset and you're going to be able to save that preset and here we can select the encoder of the video frame rate that you want for example we can select the highest that's available on youtube for example 60 frames per second resolution i'm just gonna leave it on auto because it's gonna take the resolution of the default video bit rate of course you can use it as highest but you can leave it as well on auto because i don't think every video will have the highest bit rate and also audio you can select the encoder sample rate channel and bit rate and for example we can save this preset as the video preset i'm going to click on save as new preset and it was saved to format sheet custom and let's click on save and of course in the left side you have some other options for example trim crop and more so if i'm going to click on the crop section we're going to notice that we can easily crop our video file where we want for example i want to move the slide here and then cut this and you can drag the end of it if you want and you can simply cut certain parts of the video so i think that is pretty easy as you can see because we had two cuts it created another separate video for us and if we go to effects we can also apply some effects to our video for example we can play around with the video effects brightness contrast saturation white balance and more for example i'm just going to lower the brightness and add a holiday effect for example let's do the contrast like this and then you can also apply it to all if you want i'm just going to click on okay and as you can see right now we have three different videos because it didn't override the original video we also have the high speed conversion button here which has all these enabled by default for example enable ultra fast speed is going to use also our integrated graphics card and our dedicated graphics card so now let's go and click on start all and start the conversion process and it's going to start converting our files one by one and as you can see all our files are finished as easy as that what i want to see is the video that we've changed the effects to as you can see it can also play videos for us it has the effects that we've applied so i think that is pretty nice and also our audio file was successfully converted from m4a to wav file for the purpose of this video we're also going to test out the compression part of the software so i'm going to click on compress and we have the original file which has around 1.5 megabytes i'm going to add it here and the things are pretty much the same but you can select the high quality which is recommended and that will lower the file size but not by a lot but if you select low quality it can lower the quality of the video but you will save 
desktop more space. So of course you can yet again change the output folder. For example, I'm gonna select desktop and then click on compress again. And as you can see, as easy as that, it used my dedicated graphics card and it was compressed really fast. And the size, it's three times smaller. So I think that is pretty good. So if you wanna test out Wondershare Uni Converter for yourself, make sure to get it from the description below if you wanna test it out. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.